Hello and welcome to iClone Tutorials, animating Google models with iClone Studio and 3D Exchange. Creating animated props to use in a project is a simple process with Google SketchUp, 3D Exchange 2.0, and iClone Studio. Google SketchUp's large library of models provide many different options when looking to download a vehicle. In this tutorial, we will download an airplane model to convert into a prop for iClone Studio. New helper objects will be added to animate the plane with motion clips and paths. So let's go ahead and get started. Section 1, downloading models from Google SketchUp to 3D Exchange. Step number 1, open iClone 3D Exchange and click on the G icon found on the top toolbar. This will launch Google 3D Warehouse. Type in SOP with PUP into the search field and then click search you will be able to access any number of planes from the Google library that will work for this conversion method. Step number two. On the first page of the results, locate the SOP with PUP model and then click download model to download the plane directly into iClone 3D Exchange from the Google warehouse. Press OK to proceed. Section two. Preparing and exporting models for animation in iClone. Step number three. Highlight the SKP route and locate the Scene Transform panel. Then click the Align to Ground button. This will move the entire model to the default ground placement in relation to iClone Studio. So when you export the model, it will be properly oriented. Step number four, check off all other nodes in the scene tree except for those that correspond to the wheels of the plane. Then click the Align to Center button. This will align the center pivot point in the middle of our wheel base. Step number five. Now export the wheels into iClone to be reattached to the plane body there. Go to File, Export, name your file SOP with PUP Wheels and make sure the props bullet is selected and then check on the Export Selected Only option which will allow you to choose exactly what nodes are to be exported into iClone in the scene tree. Then click OK to successfully export into iClone. Step number six. Now check on the include checkboxes for mesh 30 backside, prop backside, and prop 02 backside. To isolate the propellers of the plane. Make sure all other checkboxes in the scene tree are checked off. Step number seven. Click the Align to Center button in the Scene Transform panel to place the pivot point in the center of the prop. Now, export the propeller into iClone to be reattached to the plane body there. Go to File, Export, and then name your file SOP with PUP Propeller. Make sure the props bullet is selected, and then click on the Export Selected Only option, and then click OK to successfully export into the props custom folder. Step number eight. Check on all nodes in the scene tree except for those that correspond with the wheels and the propeller, which have already been exported into the iClone custom props folder. Then in the scene transform panel, click the align to ground button. Step number nine, export the SOP with pup body into iClone. Go to file, export, and then name your file SOP with pup body. Make sure the props bullet is selected and then make sure the export selected only option is checked on and click OK. Section 3, loading and animating models with helpers in iClone. Step number 10, open iClone Studio and go to Scene, Props, Custom Tab, Props Folder and then load the SOP with Pup Wheels. Step number 11. Now, load a helper prop into the scene. A helper prop is a simple 3D object that has animation and or motion clip animation attached to it, used to help animate other props in iClone. This particular helper deals with wheel rotation. These helpers can be downloaded for free at www.reallusion.com. Load a wheel speed helper. After loading your wheel speed helper, link your wheels to the helper object. To do this, select the wheels, from the props modify menu and then scroll down and locate the link to option. 
use the flyout arrow to select wheel speed helper. Then locate and click on the link node icon to activate the link the sub node menu. Select box 01 and make sure that the align position to parent checkbox is checked on. Then click OK. This will now align our wheels to our helper object. Step number 12. Scroll up in the modify tab and click the timeline button. Be sure you have your helper selected and right click on the helper track to activate the animation clip menu. Choose a fast setting or act fast 40 and then click and drag in the timeline to extend the timeline and click and drag over the clip to extend the duration of the actual rotation. You can scrub and see that now our wheels will rotate with our helper object. You now need to load the propeller in scene along with another wheel speed helper and link the propeller in the same manner to separately animate it along with the wheels. Step number 13. Now load the sop with pup body into the scene. Go to scene, props, custom tab, and double click on the sop with pup body. Then link the wheel speed helpers to the body of the airplane. Select the wheel speed helper, scroll down, find its link to sub option, and select soft with pup body. Again, select the link node icon and choose the ACC root soft with pup body sub node. Make sure align position to parent is checked on and click OK. Then, then properly position the helper and the attached object to the plane. Do this for both the wheels and the propeller. Step number 14, now load another helper prop into the scene. This particular helper prop is for airborne crafts. Load the path bank plane helper and link the sop with pup body to it. To do this, go to the props menu Modify tab, then locate the Bodies Prop Link To option and use the flyout menu to select Path Bank Plane. Then click the Link Node icon to activate the Link to Subnode menu and choose Box 01. Make sure Align Position to Parent is checked on and then click OK. Step number 15, you can add preset animation clips to customize the motion of the prop through the helper object. Double click on the helper object to make it the active object in scene and then go to the modify tab and locate the helper's timeline button. And then right click for the plain bank helper. This will give you the option to add an idle fly animation motion clip. Click the idle fly and notice that a light blue clip has again been added. Again, scroll over the edge and drag to extend the clip. Step number 16. To review the animation, click the play pause button. And watch as the plane will follow the helper's path while also banking with the motion clip. You can also use the timeline to keyframe the motion of the helper using keyframes and placement if the preset animation path is not what you want. Add a 3D scene to the project to place the finishing touches on the animation. Through the use of iClone Studio, you can easily animate almost any object you can find in the SketchUp library with helper objects. These helpers can be applied to cars, trucks, planes, boats, wheels, propellers, or most anything that needs motion animation. Just another way Real Illusion makes animation easy for everyone. If you have any further questions, please feel free to visit www.reallusion.com or contact technical support.